Hello guys! Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to find the equation of a circle in standard form. So, bago yun, uh, define mo natin what is a circle. So, a circle is the path or locus of a point that moves at a constant distance from a fixed point called the center. So, ito yung ating center. Okay? The constant distance of any point from the center is called the radius. So, the equation of a circle in standard form. So, given a circle with radius r and with a center at c, h, comma, k, and let p of x, y, be any point on the circle, then by definition, we have x minus h square plus y minus k square is equal to r square is the equation of a circle with center at c, h, k, and radius r. So, yung equation natin or yung standard equation ng circle is na derived from the distance formula where d is equal to the square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 square plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 square. Okay? Where yung ating h and k is yung x sub 1 and y sub 1. So, let's have example number 1. Find an equation of the circle with the following conditions. So, number 1, center is at 0, 0 and radius is equal to 5. So, first, identify muna natin si H and K. So, alam naman natin si H and K is yung coordinates ng center natin, which is yung H natin is yung X ordinate and that is 0. And yung k naman natin is yung y-ordinate, which is 0. And yung radius natin is equal to 5. So, after natin ma-identify si h, k, and r, pwede na natin gamitin yung uh, formula natin sa taas, which is x minus h square plus y minus k square is equal to r square. So, ang gagawin nyo lang dito guys is is substitute, substitute lang natin yung value ni h and k which is both 0. So, that is x minus 0 square plus y minus 0 square equals r which is 5 square. Okay, then simplify natin. So, that is, we have x minus 0, that is x, then square, plus y minus 0, which is y, then square, equals 5 square, and that is 25. So, ito na ngayon yung ating equation, or standard equation, ng ating circle. So, next is, try naman natin i-graph yung ating uh, circle sa ating Cartesian plane. So, first is, ipa-plot plot muna natin yung ating center. Okay? So, ang center natin is 0, 0, which is makikita natin sa origin ng ating Cartesian plane. Next is, gagamitin natin yung radius, which is 5 units. So, ang gagawin nyo lang dito, guys, is magbibilang lang kayo ng 5 units going to the right and to the left. Then, 5 units tayo pataas at pababa. So, start tayo sa pakanan. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, nandito yung ating uh, first point. Then, 5 tayo pataas. So, we have 5. Then, another 5 papunta sa left side. So, this is negative 5. Then, 5 sa baba. We have negative 5. Okay? Then, after natin ma-plot yung mga na-target natin points is, i-sketch nyo lang, guys, yung ating circle. 
So dito para perfect yung drawing nyo guys, pwede kayong gumamit ng compass. Okay? So ngayon, after natin ma-plot yung apat na points, mabubuo na natin yung ating circle. So ganyan lang siya kasimple. Okay? So next, let's have example number 2. Center is at negative 4, comma 5, and radius is equal to 4. So again, ang first step natin is identify mo natin si H, K, and R. So in this case, ang, ang H and K natin is makikita natin kay center, and H corresponds to negative 4, and yung K natin is equal to 5. Then, of course, our radius is equal to positive 4. After natin ma-identify yung mga given, pwede na natin gamitin yung ating uh, formula, yung standard equation ng circle, which is x minus h square plus y minus k square equals r square. Next is, isa-substitute natin yung ating mga value. So, h is negative 4. So, that is x minus negative 4. Then, square plus y minus k. And k is equal to 5. Square equals r square and that is 4 square. Okay? Next is simplify natin. So, we have two negatives. So, negative times negative, that is positive 4. Then, square. Plus, we have y minus 5. So, ayan uh, mo natin yung ganyan. Then, 4 square is equal to 16. So, ito na ngayon yung ating magiging equation of a circle in standard form. Okay? So next, try naman natin i-graph yung ating circle. So first, paplat natin yung kanyang center. Okay? Which is negative 4, 5. So ang x-ordinate natin is negative 4. So nandito banda yun. Ito yung ating negative 4. Then ang ating k is 5. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Nandito ngayon yung ating center. Okay? I'm sorry. So, this is positive 5. So, upward tayo. Okay? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ito ngayon yung ating magiging center. Okay? So, next is gagamitin na natin yung radius after natin ma-plot yung kanyang center. So again, magbibilang lang tayo ng 4 units to the right, to the left, and going up and down. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Ito yung ating first point. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then 1, 2, 3, 4. Then 1, 2, 3, 4. Sa baba. Okay? Then after natin ma-plot yung apat na points, so i-sketch nyo lang yan. Again, pwede kayong gumamit ng compass para mas maganda yung inyong circle. So, ito na ngayon yung graph ng ating circle. So, next, let's have example number 3. So, diameter with endpoints at 4, 5 and negative 2, 3. So, sa example 3 natin, medyo kakaiba yung ating given since hindi given yung kanyang center and radius. So, ang first step natin dito is try muna natin i-plot yung dalawang points. Then, i-figure out natin kung ano yung dapat natin mga gawin. Okay? So, first, plot natin yung 4, 5. So, that is nandito. Okay? So, ito yung ating 4, 5. Next is yung negative 2, 3. So, that is here. So, this is negative 2, 3. Okay? 
So, this will be now the diameter ng ating circle. Okay? So, alam naman natin na pagka diameter ang pinag-uusapan, sa gitna ng ating diameter is doon matatagpuan yung ating center. Okay? So, meaning, ang midpoint ng ating line segment na nakagraph is yun yung ating uh, yun yung ating center ng circle. So, para makuha yung ating center ng circle is gagamit tayo ng midpoint formula. Okay? So, to solve for H, ang gagawin lang natin, since yung H is yung x-ordinate ng center, ang gagawin natin is kukuhin natin yung midpoint ng ating x sub 1 and x sub 2. So, para magawa yan guys, is ipagpa-plus lang natin yung dalawa. So, that is 4 plus negative 2 divided by 2. Okay, so ito yung midpoint formula. So, that is 4 plus negative 2. That is 2. Then, divided by 2, we have 1. Okay? Then, for k naman, since yung k is yung ating y-ordinate, ang gagamitin naman natin is yung y sub 1 and y sub 2, which is 5, 3. So, 5 plus 3, that is 8, divided by 2, we have k equals 4. So, ang location ng ating center is magiging 1, 4. So, check natin. Okay, so makikita natin na nasa gitna yung ating center doon sa kanyang diameter. Okay? Then, after natin malocate yung ating center ng circle, ang kulang na lang natin is yung radius. Okay? So, para makuha yung radius, guys, ang gagawin lang natin is kukuhin natin yung distance from the center going to dun sa isang point. Okay? So, applying the distance formula, so that is R equals square root of, so gagamitin natin yung distance formula natin, x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Square plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 square. So in our case, ito yung ating x sub 1, y sub 1. Then x sub 2, y sub 2. Okay? So substitute natin yung mga given. So that is, uh, we have x sub 2, that is 4 minus 1 square plus y sub 2 which is 5 minus y sub 1 which is 4 then square so we have 4 minus 1 square that is 3 then square that is 9 plus 5 minus 4 is 1 then square we have 1 so ang radius natin is equal to square root of 10 okay so next, after natin makuha yung radius, then meron na rin tayong center, pwede na nating magamit yung ating um, standard form ng circle, which is x minus h square plus y minus k square equals r square. So, substitute lang natin yung ating h, k, and r. So, that is x minus 1 square plus y minus k, which is 4 square equals square root of 10, then square. So, simplify lang natin yung square root of 10 square. So, in this case, makakancel lang yung ating square root at saka yung square. So, ang final answer natin, we have x minus 1 square plus y minus 4 square equals 10. So, ito na ngayon yung ating equation ng circle in standard form. 
Okay? This is the end of our video. I hope may natutunan kayo, class. So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!